Metro Manila commuters frequently using railways are in for a tougher commute with the PNR suspending its operations for up to five years. Meanwhile, fare hike proposals for the LRT and MRT are also being pushed. Gerald De La Pena with the report. Commuters who frequently take the Philippine National Railways will have to look for other means of transportation. This, as the Department of Transportation announced, that it will suspend PNR operations for as long as five years to give way for the construction of the North-South Commuter Railway project. This will connect Calamba in Laguna and Clark in Pampanga. The OTR's plan is to temporarily suspend operations of the alabang Calamba route before the end of May, while the alabang Tutuban route will be closed by August. With 30,000 passengers affected by the closure, the DOTR is eyeing to give out special permits for buses that will ferry passengers in PNR stations. 2,000 passengers will also be affected by the suspension of trips from Alabang to Kalamba. Sensitive kami doon sa kung saan nasanay yung mga workers, kung saan nasanay yung mga estudyante, kung saan nasanay yung mga professionals uh, na sumakay, Magallanes, uh, Bundia, Paco, uh, Santa Mesa. Uh, sa ating mga estudyante sa PUP. Doon dapat may pipick up. Chavez said the government will be able to save 15 billion pesos in construction costs. Meantime, the newly established Rail Regulation Unit of the DOTR has heard the petition for the fare hikes of LRT Lines 1 and 2 and MRT Line 3, as well as those opposing it. The Light Rail Manila Corporation, which operates the LRT Line 1, has asked to increase its minimum fare from 13 pesos to 17 pesos, which will bring the end-to-end -end fare to 44 pesos from 30 pesos. The LRMC explains that the agreed-upon fare, which is higher than the existing fare, was not followed when it assumed operations of the train line in 2015. This resulted in losses of over 1.46 billion pesos. Ang legal basis po nito is yung concession agreement which states that uh, the notional fare should adjust automatically every two years. Since starting August 1, 2016, despite the fact that LRMC has been affected by the pandemic and despite the fact that we have not gotten any fare increase, tinuloy po namin lahat ng obligasyon namin under the CA. We improved the system. The LRT administration, which runs the LRT Line 2, said it hasn't increased fares in 11 years and it's high time for one given that its losses have ballooned to over 7 billion pesos. It asks the DOTR to allow the increase in minimum fare to 13 pesos from 11 pesos, which will bring the maximum fare to 33 pesos from 28 pesos. The LRTA said that this will be barely felt by passengers. Around 17% hindi makaka-experience ng increase. Meron data yon kanina. Why? Kasi nga, pagka yung, yung hinihingi namin increase, pagka nilatag mo na yun sa fare matrix, hindi sila apektado. Isa or dalawang station lang. So pagka nilatag mo sa fare matrix yun, Hindi magbabago yung binabayaran niya. For the MRT3, it is asking a minimum fare of 17 pesos from 14 pesos, bringing the maximum fare to 34 pesos. Civil society groups question the timing of the fare hike. Bumagsak na po yung tunay na halaga ng regional minimum wage na 570 na para po sa inyong malamang ay barya lang. Pero sa isang manggagawa, no, napakahalaga ng kada piso. Yung pong binabanggit natin na 8 pesos lang ang mawawala, eh hindi ka naman one way lang. In this time na hindi pa nga nakaka-recover talaga from the pandemic, maraming nawala ng trabaho, marami ang kinompressed work week at re na humarap si reduction ng trabaho. The DOTR will decide on the fair hikes in 40 days. If approved, this will take effect in April.